How many of you, this, this is your first um, Erev Kashaka service? Okay. Erev Kashaka is um, Hebrew for the evening of darkness. And it will become apparent why we call it the service or evening of darkness. The Erev Kashaka, or Tannenbrae in Latin, was handed down to us by the early Netzarim. It's one of the most scriptural rituals held by the assembly because it throws opinion to the wind and allows the word to preach the message. We will hear the passion told from all four evangelists, Mat Yehu, Marcus, Yohanan, and Silas, as the events happened, as well as co-related passages from the Psalms, Lamentations, and Rabbi Kifa's writings. As we come to each event, a candle is extinguished on the menorah, signifying the darkness that covered the earth when Messiah Yeshua, the Lamb of Yahweh, hung on the tree, and the gross darkness that covered those that had rejected the Son of Yahweh. The Shamash, or the Messiah's candle, the light of the world, will remain lit until the conclusion of the service. This candle will be extinguished by the strapitus when the word is closed. Remember, however, the darkness never prevails over the light. Upon completion of the service, the congregation will leave in silence, not speaking to one another, and gather out in the foyer. We ask that everyone meet back on Sabbath and on first fruits to celebrate the risen Messiah, Yeshua, the light that could not be extinguished. La Eve Good, the shadow of betrayal. The kings revolt. Their rulers plot together against Yahweh and against the king he chose. Why do the nations conspire in the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together against Yahweh and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they say, and throw off their fetters. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The sovereign scoffs at them. Then he rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Sion. My holy hill, I will proclaim the decree of Yahweh, he said to me. You are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask of me and I will make the nations your inheritance. The ends of the earth your possession. You will rule them with an iron scepter. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son lest he be angry and you be destroyed in your way. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Altogether, 
the kings revolt, their rulers plot together against Yahweh and against the king he chose. Proud men are coming to attack me. Cruel men are trying to kill me. Save me, O Elohim, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O Elohim. Listen to the words of my mouth. Strangers are attacking me. Ruthless men seek my life. Men without regard for Elohim, Selah. Surely Elohim is my help. The sovereign is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, O Yahweh. For it is good, for he has delivered me from all my troubles. And my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. All together. Proud, Proud men, men are coming, coming to attack me. Cruel men, men are trying, trying to kill me. When evening came, Rabbi Yeshua was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you the truth. One of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him, one after the other, Surely not I, Adon. Rabbi Yeshua replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born, then Yehuda, the one who would betray him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. Rabbi Yeshua answered, Yes, it is you. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their face, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he took upon our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by Elohim, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. I am always aware of Yahweh's presence. He is near, and nothing can shake me. Keep me safe, O Elohim, for in you I take refuge, I said to Yahweh. You are my sovereign. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their libations of blood or take up their names on my lips. Yahweh, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise Yahweh who counsels me. Even at night my heart instructs me. I have set Yahweh always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy 
in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Altogether, I, I am always, always aware, aware of Yahweh's, Yahweh's presence. presence. He is, is near, and, and nothing, nothing can, can shake me. me. The Arikha, the shadow of desertion. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Rabbi Yeshua told them, This very night you will all fall away on account of me, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Rabbi Kepha replied, Even if all fall away on account of you, I never will. I tell you the truth, Rabbi Yeshua answered, This very night, before the rooster crows, you will disown me. Three times. But Rabbi Kepha declared, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Messiah himself carried our sins in his body as he ascended towards the execution tree altogether so, so that, that we, we might die, die to sin and, and live in righteousness. righteousness. It, it is by, by his stripes, stripes I am healed. healed. Let us all stand. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Forever. Amen. You may be reseated. The Lahish Giach, the shadow of the unkept vigil. Rabbi Yeshua went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a th stone's throw beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him, and being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? He asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Shema, Hazabi, Teshuva. Hear and return to Yahweh, your Elohim. Altogether, even my best friend, the one I trusted most, the one who shared my food, 
has turned, turned against me. Yahweh has determined to tear down the wall around the daughter of Zion. He stretched out a measuring line and did not withhold his hand from destroying. He made ramparts and walls lament. Together they wasted away. Her gates have sunk into the ground. Their bars he has broken and destroyed. Her king and her princes are exiled among the nations. The Torah is no more. And her prophets no longer find visions from Yahweh. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit on the ground in silence. They have sprinkled dust on their heads and put on sackcloth. The young women of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. My eyes fail from weeping. I am in torment within. My heart is poured out on the ground because my people are destroyed, because children and infants faint in the streets of the city. Jerusalem, 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 Shema, Hazabi, Teshuva, hear and return to Yahweh, your Elohim. Altogether, the sorrow, sorrow of, of my, my heart, heart is so, so great that it, that it almost crushes, crushes me. Stay, stay here, here and watch. watch. What can I say for you? With what can I compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? To what can I liken you that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? Your wound is as deep as the sea. Who can heal you? The visions of your prophets were false and worthless. They did not expose your sin to ward off your captivity. The oracles they gave you were false and misleading. All who pass your way clap their hands at you. They scoff and sh shake their heads at the daughter of Jerusalem. Is this the city that was called the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Jerusalem, 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 Shema, Hazabi, Teshuva, hear and return to Yahweh your Elohim. Altogether, behold, behold the, the hour, hour has, has come, come for the Son, Son of Man, man to, to be handed over to the, the power, power of, of sinful, sinful men. I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. He has driven me away and made me walk in darkness rather than light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. He has made my skin and my flesh grow old and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. He has made me dwell in darkness like those long dead. He has walled me in so I cannot escape. He has weighed me down with chains. Even when I call out or cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has barred my way with blocks of stone. He has made my paths crooked. Hayashama, the shadow of accusation. Just as he was speaking, Yehuda, one of the twelve, appeared. With him was a crowd armed with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests, the rabbis of the Torah, and the elders. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. Going at once to Rabbi Yeshua, Yehuda said, Rabbi, and kissed him. The men seized Rabbi Yeshua 
and arrested him. Then one of those standing near drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Am I leading a rebellion, said Rabbi Yeshua, that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I was with you, teaching in the temple courts, and you did not arrest me. But the scriptures must be fulfilled, and everyone deserted him and fled. A young man wearing nothing but a tallit was following Rabbi Yeshua when they seized him. He fled naked, leaving his tallit behind. They took Rabbi Yeshua to the high priest, and all the chief priests, elders, and rabbis of the Torah came together. Rabbi Kepha followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest. There he sat with the guards and warmed himself at the fire. The chief priests and the whole council were looking for evidence against Rabbi Yeshua so that they might put him to death, but they did not find any. Many testified falsely against him, but their statements did not agree. Then some stood up and gave this false testimony against him. We heard him say, I will destroy this temple and in three days we'll build another not made by man. Yet even then, their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Rabbi Yeshua, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Rabbi Yeshua remained silent and gave no answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? I am, said Rabbi Yeshua, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. The high priest tore his clothes. Why do we need any more witnesses, he he asked. You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him as worthy of death. Then some began to spit at him. They blindfolded him, struck him with their fists, and said, Prophesy! And the guards took him and beat him. I am closed in and cannot escape. My eyes are weak from suffering. O Yahweh, the Elohim who saves me, day and night I cry out, before you. May my prayer come before you. Turn your ear to my cry, for my soul is full of trouble, and my life draws near the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like a man without strength. I am set apart with the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more who are cut off from your care. You have put me in the lowest pit, in the darkest depths. Your wrath lies heavily upon me. You have overwhelmed me with all your waves, Selah. You have taken from me my closest friends and have made me repulsive to them. I am confined and cannot escape. My eyes are dim with grief. I call to you, O Yahweh. Every day I spread out my hands to you. Do you show your wonders to the dead? Do those who are dead rise up and praise you? Selah. Is your love declared in the grave? Your faithfulness in destruction? Are your wonders known in the place of darkness or your righteous deeds in the land of oblivion? But I cry to you for help, O Yahweh. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Why, O Yahweh, do you reject me and hide your face from me? 
For my youth I have been afflicted and close to death. I have suffered your terrors and am in despair. Your wrath has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. All day long they surround me like a flood. They have completely engulfed me. You have taken my companions and loved ones from me. The darkness is my closest friend. Altogether, I am closed in and cannot escape. My eyes are weak from suffering. suffering. Hear me, O Yahweh, when I call to you. Be merciful and answer me. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men again advance against me to devour my flesh when my enemies and my foes attack they will stumble and fall though an army beseech me my heart will not fear though war break out against me even then will I be confident one thing I ask of Yahweh this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of Yahweh and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy I will sing and make music to Yahweh. Hear my voice when I call, O Yahweh. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Yahweh, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, O Elohim, my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, Yahweh will receive me. Teach me your way, O Yahweh. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, breathing out violence. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Wait for Yahweh, be strong, and take heart and wait for Yahweh. All together. Hear Hear me, me, O Yahweh, Yahweh, when when I I call call to you. you. Be merciful merciful and answer answer me. me. When I lie down, I will go to sleep in peace. You alone, O Yahweh, keep me perfectly safe. Answer me when I call you, O my righteous Elohim. Give me relief from my distress. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. How long, O men, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods, Selah? Know that Yahweh has set apart the godly for himself. Yahweh will hear when I call to him. In your anger, do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. Selah. Offer right sacrifices and trust in Yahweh. Many are asking, who can show us any good? Let the light of your face shine upon us, O Yahweh. You have filled my heart with greater joy than when their grain and new wine abound. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, O Yahweh, make me dwell in safety. Altogether. When When I I lie lie down, down, I I will will go go to sleep sleep in in peace. peace. You You alone, alone, O Yahweh, Yahweh, keep keep me me perfectly perfectly safe. safe. Messiah himself suffered for you and left an example so that you would follow his steps and gave you the power so you could follow his steps. 
altogether? He committed no sin, and no one ever heard a lie come from his lips. When he was insulted, he did not answer back with an insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. The Be'etsu Ah, the shadow of crucifixion. Then the governor's soldiers took Rabbi Yeshua into the praetorium and gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and then twisted together the crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand and knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. They spit on him. They took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they had mocked him, they took off the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Shimon, and they forced him to carry the crossbeam. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Rabbi Yeshua wine to drink mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Yeshua, the king of the Adim. Two zealots were crucified with him, one on his right and one on the left. He was treated harshly, but he rendered it humbly. He never said a word altogether. He was was oppressed oppressed and afflicted, afflicted, yet yet he he did did not open open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is silent. So he did not open his mouth. So the soldiers took charge of Yeshua, carrying his own crossbeam. He went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. Here they crucified him, and with him two others, one on each side, and Yeshua in the middle. Pilate had a notice prepared and fastened to the tree. It read, Yeshua of Nazareth, the king of the Odim. Many of the Odim read this sign, for the place where Rabbi Yeshua was crucified was near the city, and the sign was written in Aramaic, Latin, and Greek. The chief priests of the Odin protested to Pilate, Do not write, the king of the Jews, but that this man claimed to be king of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And Yahweh has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Altogether. But he was pierced pierced for for our our transgressions. transgressions. He He was was crushed crushed for our iniquities. iniquities. The punishment punishment that brought us peace was upon him. him. And by his his wounds wounds we are healed. Later, knowing that all was now completed, and so that the scripture would be fulfilled. Rabbi Yeshua said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant, and lifted it to Rabbi Yeshua's lips. When he had received the drink, Rabbi Yeshua said, 
It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Mavet the shadow of death. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. For the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Rabbi Yeshua called out with a loud voice, Avino, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. The centurion, seeing what had happened, praised Elohim and said, Surely this was a righteous man. When all the people who had gathered to witness this sight saw what took place, they beat their breasts and went away. But all those who knew him, including the women, who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. My enemy has put me in a dark prison. I am in deep despair. Oh, Yahweh, hear my prayer. Listen to my prayer for mercy and your faithfulness and righteousness. Come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment. For no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land, Selah. Answer me quickly, O Yahweh. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Like the morning, bring me word of your unfailing love. For I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Yahweh, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my Elohim. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Yahweh, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Altogether, my My enemy enemy has put put me in a a dark dark prison. prison. I am in in deep deep despair. despair. Save me from my enemies, my Elohim. Protect me from those who attack me. Deliver me from my enemies, O Elohim. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from evildoers and save me from bloodthirsty men. See how they wait. See how they lie and wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine. O Yahweh, I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Arise to help me. Look on my plight, O Yahweh, El Shaddai, the Elohim of Israel. Rouse yourself to punish all the nations. Show no mercy to wicked traitors. Selah. 
They return at evening, snarling like dogs, and prowl about the city. See what they spew from their mouths. They spew out swords from their lips, and they say, Who can hear us? But you, O Yahweh, laugh at them. You scoff at all those nations. O my strength, I watch for you, O Elohim, or my fortress, my loving Elohim. Elohim will go before me and will let me gloat over those who slander me. But do not kill them, O Lord. Our shield or my people will forget. In your might, make them wander about and bring them down. For the sins of their mouths, for the words of their lips, let them be caught in their pride. For the curses and lies they utter, consume them in wrath, consume them till they are no more. Then it will be known to the ends of the earth that Elohim rules over Jacob. Selah. They return at evening snarling like dogs and prowl about the city. They wander about for food and howl if not satisfied. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love. For you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. O oh, my strength, I sing praise to you. O oh, Elohim, are my fortress, my loving Elohim. All together. Save me from my, my enemies. enemies. My oh, Elohim. Elohim. Protect me from those who attack me. Show us your constant love, O Yahweh. Give us your saving help. You showed favor to your land, O Yahweh. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sins, Selah. You set aside all your wrath and turned from your fierce anger. Restore us again, O Elohim, our Savior, and put away your displeasures toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger through all, anger through all generations? Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, O Yahweh, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what Yahweh, the Elohim, will say. He promises peace to his people, his saints, but let them not return to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. Yahweh will indeed give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and pre prepares the way for his steps. All together. Show, Show us, us your, your constant, constant love. love. O, o Yahweh, Yahweh give, give us, us your, your saving, saving help. help. Messiah died for sins once and for all, the righteous for unrighteous. All together, in order to, to bring, bring us, us to, to the, the throne, throne of, of Yahweh. Yahweh. Kivir, the shadow of the tomb. And after this, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Rabbi Yeshua, but secretly for fear of the Yehudim, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Rabbi Yeshua. And Pilate gave him leave. He came, therefore, and took the body of Rabbi Yeshua. And they came also... Rav Nick Demon, 
which at the first came to Rabbi Yeshua by night and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. Then took they the body of Rabbi Yeshua and wound it in linen clothes with the spices as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden and in the garden a new sepulcher wherein was never man yet laid. There laid they Rabbi Yeshua because, therefore because of the Yodim's preparation day for the sepulcher was not at hand. Yahweh did not even keep back his son but offered him up for us all. Have mercy on me, O Elohim, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Altogether, wash Wash away away all all my iniquity iniquity and cleanse cleanse me me from my my sin. sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Altogether, against Against you, You only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are proved right when you speak and justified when you condemn. Save me from my blood guilt, O Elohim, the Elohim who saves me, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Altogether, my sacrifices to Elohim are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, Elohim, you will not reject, and a humble and repentant heart. It is finished. Thank you.